In this video, I'll show you how to set up your launch key in Logic Pro X and give you an overview of the functions on the keyboard. Connect your launch key to your Mac using the provided USB cable, using an Apple USB A to C adapter if necessary. The launch key mini integrates closely with Logic Pro X and in order to set this functionality up on your Mac, you need to run a small Logic script installer. Click below to go to your Novation account, where you'll find the Logic Script Installer under Drivers. Download the installer, and then head to your Downloads folder. Ensure that Logic Pro X is closed, and then double-click the installer to run it. Once the installation is complete, open Logic and go to Preferences, Control Surfaces, Setup. Select New, Install, and select Novation Launch Key Mini Mark III from this menu and press Add. You can now close this window and configure the input and output ports as shown on screen. If you have a MIDI track record enabled which is now playing notes, simply unarm the track and then rearm it to stop the notes. Your launch key is now ready to use with Logic Pro X. To select what the pads are controlling, press and hold Shift and use the orange pads. I'm going to press the pad below Session to put the pads into Session Mode for Logic Pro X. Running along the pads, you can see the tracks in your session, from track 1 up to track 8, and you can navigate through the tracks by holding Shift and using the ARP and Fixed Chord buttons to navigate. You can record arm the tracks in your session using the red pads and whichever track you have selected in Logic Pro X will be automatically record armed. You can also use the yellow buttons on the bottom row to solo tracks in your session. You can press the stop, solo and mute button to switch the bottom row of pads to control the mute function on the tracks in your session. You can also use the play and record buttons on the launch key to control these functions in Logic. Press and hold shift and press the pad below drums to put the pads into drum mode. Drum mode allows you to play drums on the velocity sensitive pads using devices like Ultrabeat in Logic. The custom modes allow you to control what note values are being sent from the pads and which CC values are being sent from the dials using the Novation component software, which you can learn more about at novationmusic.com forward slash components. To select what the dials are controlling, press and hold shift and use the green pads. Device will allow you to use the dials to access Logic smart controls which you can display by pressing B on your keyboard when you have audio effects or an instrument loaded on your track. You can also select the pad below volume to take control of track volumes. You can select the pad below pan to take control of the pans. And you can select the pad below Sends to take control of the first two sends on the currently selected track. The new Launch Key Mini now features a creative arpeggiator and a fixed chord mode. You can hold down ARP and use the keys to control the arpeggiator's settings. You can press and hold the fixed chord button, play a chord starting with the root note, and then play this chord with the same intervals anywhere on the keyboard just by pressing a single key. Now we'd love to know whether you're up and running with your new launch key. If you are, then that's great, but if you need some more help, we can put you in touch with our support team.